guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from the 2020 New York Toy Fair, and I'm over here at the Super 7 booth with Brian Flynn. What's going on, Brian? Hi, Danny. How you doing? I'm doing great. You're not already losing your voice, are you? No, I'm not supposed to call you Danny either. Call me Danny. No, that's that, fine. That, no, Pixel we'll P. Went through that. We call it P. Danny. That's that's my nickname. Uh, actually, I'm not going to call you no, P. It's Danny. not P. Danny. Oh. oh, that sounds like something you pay for in. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Downtown. Oh no no. Okay, so hey, toys, how about that? Let's talk about toys. I paid 50 bucks for a P. Danny. <laughs> this is getting off to a great start. I'm, I'm excited. Oh, man. Okay, so hey, <laughs> Toy Fair is going on. <laughs> we got a lot of things going on over at Super 7. It's true. Um, hey, let's get this out of the way up front because everybody's asking me. We should probably address the elephant in the room. Masters of the Universe, is that totally done with you guys? I mean, in... Toy form, yes. In toy form, Mattel has those rights. Obviously, they're making a lot of really great looking stuff, and I think uh, people will be excited by what they have coming out. I don't know much more than everybody else, but I'm really excited about the two new shows that are happening, and I hope they're successful. Um, on the non toy front, yeah, we've got, we still have all of the licenses we have. So, you know, you see the buckets that are over there. We've got, you know, we still got apparel, we've still got pins, we've still got. Pen, you know, there's, we've got like 10 or 12 other categories. They're just not toys. So, yeah. So, so if that, you and really mean, want a rug, we can make a rug still. Oh, the rug. Awesome. So that means reaction and everything is out, unfortunately. Un, un, unfortunately, yes, but hopefully at one point, you know, once they find their footing in their groove, uh, maybe they'll, they'll find some room in their heart for us. We'll see. We'll see. Well, let's talk about all the things that you do have here because, man, you've got some really amazing things. And back at PowerCon, you revealed the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I want to start there because just recently you revealed the brand new wave right. and you've got them here on display. Exactly. you got a couple more days. February's not over. You can still order now. We should flash it on the screen. <laughs> order now. Order now. Order now. <laughs> Supplies are limited. Exactly. Yeah, and, and you guys thrilled me right away because you're just coming out the gate with the weirdos like Mutagen Man, which is one of my personal favorite characters. Yes. And he's so huge. I mean, like him and Bebop both are gigantic. They are. I mean, it's all supposed to be proportional in scale. Yeah. So they're effing gigantic, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. like preposterously gigantic. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the same thing. Like the interesting things are like everybody's got turtles. Right. We have to make the turtles, and I want to make the turtles, but I want to make everybody else. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm really excited about. Like. Wave one, I'm excited about Baxter Stockman. Wave two, I'm excited about Mutagen Man. Excellent. Excellent. You know? Well, I mean, and that toy line was filled. That's what made that toy line so cool, right? All the weirdos that populated that original line. So that's what makes it fun to collect. Well, and that's what makes it unique and different. Yes. You know, and that's like if it's just another, I don't know. <laughs> it's a, like I still want the turtle, so I can't say it's just another turtle, but it's just like. Yeah, that's that's the interesting part to me is let's let's make all the fun characters that exist only here. Of course. Awesome. Awesome. So the guys we have here, these are like the hand painted prototypes, right? Yeah. Those are the hand painted resins or outputs or hand sculpts and cast and yeah. everything. So it's all that's why I can't show you a perfectly clear mutagen man with floating guts. Like it's coming, but sure. I can't physically make it yet okay, so and that's one of the things I was gonna ask I wanted to make that clear for everybody because the mutagen man's a little foggy yeah, and his guts foggy. and everything are like laying on the ground next to him exactly because I I can't magically hold them in there until I actually go to tool yeah. and engineer it like I can't do it here but yes it will ha and then the guts are multicolored and everything like this paint samples all pink I know okay, yeah gotcha, gotcha. not I'm not saying that sounds dismissive but it's like yes we are aware it's just the process of it and it going so fast. It's like we make those changes and send them off to the paint master, but this isn't the paint master that's going to the factory. This is the one that I have to hold on to. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Will you be able to fill them with water, like the vintage toy? Is that uh, something you thought about? We thought about it, but it, I'm, I'm a little worried with the articulation that yeah. we want in here that sure. we would be able to seal it. So I'm going to go and say no for now. Don't do that. Don't put water in it. I, it'll just get wet. It's not like it's going to short circuit, that's true, that's you know. <laughs> That'd be weird. Yeah. What are you guys putting in your action figures? <laughs> We're leveling up, Danny. Yeah, yeah. Leveling up. Um, yeah, no, right now, with 
with all the articulation that you want to have in those arms and the legs, it would be very difficult to make that seal. Sure. Okay. So, that makes sense. Yeah. And uh, Shredder looks like he's seen better days. <laughs> prototypes I, land out. I, I broke Shredder yesterday <laughs> on setup. I totally dropped him. He broke, and he's not he's not coming back together again. Um, so. Hey, so explain that alt head to everybody, because I was trying so hard to tell everybody what that was, and nobody was listening to me. This is a hilarious part, because we're going so fast trying to get ready for Toy Fair, is we photographed everything, of course, yeah. and then they, you know, if you look at the picture where it's him and a bunch of the accessories, he's wearing his regular helmet, but then like the big dramatic, beautiful shot, he's wearing the alt helmet, which is the toy helmet with the eyebrows on the helmet ridge, and everybody's just like, what? What's going on with yeah. this helmet? And yeah. We're like, yeah. I can't believe that we actually put the wrong, the alt helmet yeah. on the big, like beauty shot. Right. But right. then again, quite honestly, with this one because of when we needed to get it up, there's a lot of stuff that's not in those shots. Like we've sure. updated the photos multiple times. Like, yes, every weapon that's on the weapon rack also comes loose and painted. Yeah, I think there was some confusion around that too at first. Uh, yeah, people. Well, Rightly so. Right, of course. Of you course, know, yeah. so uh, it's just been kind of a mad, mad scramble with this one. The good news is it's not a mad scramble for Wave 3. We're, at, we're way ahead of the curve on Wave 3. Just like we're ahead of the curve on Wave 3 of Thundercats. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Which was a segue. That's a segue. He's getting me away from turtles. That's so I can't sit here and be like, when's Muckman coming? Uh, soon. Oh, okay, I'll take it. I like that. I like that. All right, let's move into uh, Thundercats. You know it's a weird one. You know I'm going to make it early <laughs> rather than late. Oh, so. that makes me so happy. That's that's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so we can move on to Thundercats now because you've got Wave 3 on display here at the show. Yeah, it's a couple months out still, but we're, like I said, we're ahead on Thundercats. So we got it, and we were like, I, let's go ahead and show it. It's not going to be up for pre-order for a couple months. So everybody's got time to save their money. They don't have to panic. And we'll have plenty of time because invariably, every time I post something, somebody shows up and says, you know that's wrong. And I go, shit, I've looked at this 75 times and I didn't notice that. Yeah. So we got time to make some more changes. Speaking of changes, that is a point, which we haven't publicly said yet, really. On Bebop, we are, because people asked about it, we're going to go ahead and make a second head for him. So we're going to have the pink toy head and a brown figure head. That's so we're going to cool. make two heads for him. That's another thing I saw a lot of people asking about. And that's one of those things too cuz I guess that's sometimes good, like it's a good idea. I was like when it, it got mentioned idea. I was like, "Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, we probably should do that." Well, it's, and it's just like the uh, the shredder eyebrows on the helmet. It's one of those things too where I don't think a lot of people remember their vintage toys looking that way. Yeah. But if you look at your vintage shredder, that's probably how he's painted. If you look at your vintage Bebop, he's got a pink face like that. Yeah. So, but it's cool that you're doing the alternate the alternate. Yeah, but and that's and and you know th this either for better or for worse, emboldens everyone online to tell me what's wrong with my figures. But it's true. It's like, that's a good idea. So let, we look at that and, and say, oh, we should make that change. We should add that piece. We should do that because that makes sense. And it will make the figure better, which is the whole point, is well, to make and, the figures better. You know, and I think that's awesome that you're, you take fans' comments like that into consideration because you, you want to put out the best product that everybody likes. And I think that's awesome. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm trying. Despite everyone's uh, belief, I am trying. <laughs> so let's go back to our Thundercats then. So, so who who do we have in Wave Three here? Uh, you've got the Clown Prince, you've got the Lady Justice, you've got Turtle Dude and Pirate. That's that's them. Yeah, no, that's their official names. Uh, Jaga, Chitara, Slythe, and Captain Cracker. Who is expecting Captain Cracker? Captain Cracker. And if any one of you raises your hands, I know you're lying. Yeah, well, this is just like seeing Mutagen Man and Turtles. You guys are going deep cut with these character selections. Well, you know, it's that same thing. It's like, let's, let's, we don't have to wait till wave seven. Sure. Let's start bringing some of these guys. You know, we're going to make all the core team. You right. know, we're going to get through all that. But let's also bring in some of the people that you don't have, some of the people that are different or unique that you haven't got before. Like, let's have some fun with these toys. Right. Like, that's the point, right? Yeah. Of course. And Chitara's there, so yes. everybody's finally getting Chitara, which is finally something. Chitara. Yeah. And she's got an alt head, too, it looks like. She's got, like, she's, with the hair blowing. She's got an alt head. She's got, you know, the long staff. She's got the short staff that'll peg in. She's got three different sets of hands. There's a bunch of stuff with her. That's you so know. Cool. Yeah. That's so amazing. And when do those come up for pre-order? Those are coming uh, soon, right? I think, I think, I think, I think 
it's I want to say it's either April or May. Okay. I can't remember because what we were going to do was was NJPW this next month. We pushed that out a month. I think everything pushed out one month. And so we're really focused on the storm the sorry, the Transformer Optimus Prime the Super Shogun, which we'll talk about later. Um, we were focusing on that this month and we were and then we just sort of got a sense from people there they're like we need a month off. Yeah, totally. I'm like, "All right, let's give everybody a month off." You know, so everybody's getting a month off. Okay, there you go, a month off. But lots of Thundercats coming, lots yeah. of Turtles coming. That's amazing. Yeah, and, I, and hopefully, like I said, people will be excited about what they're seeing. And I know, I know Chitara was, everybody's just like, what do you want to get Chitara? Everybody God wants, damn it. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, all right. And you know, she's kind of like the one that was missing. Like, she's a key character, obviously, that was missing the first time around. So You're saying Captain Cracker wasn't? I mean, well, obviously Captain Cracker was one of them, too. Come on. Am I the only one here who sees this? <laughs> so you mentioned NJPW. Why don't NJPW. we move into them? Yeah, I mean, uh, NJPW Wave One's done. NJPW Wave Two we're almost finished with. It's, you know, it's just a lot of work going back. There's a lot of, of detail and things like, we have to license the entrance robes from a different person who makes them for the wrestlers. Oh, like, okay. there's a lot more. There's a lot more hoops to jump through. Not in a negative way. I didn't even ever think about that. That's yeah. interesting. So uh, we're almost done with Wave 2, but it's not quite ready yet. So okay. Wave 2 should be next month. Excellent. So Excellent. That is very cool. And I just I love that you guys are doing that. And it's, it's a good time to be a wrestling fan that collects toys because we are getting all these, like, deep cuts, these alternate, co you know, the all the different wrestling companies are getting really great representation right now, so I love seeing you guys do this. Yeah, we had Kenny in here yesterday looking at the NJPW stuff, so, so. Cool. yeah, is so cool. So, you know, and then he's got the AEW stuff upstairs, I was really hoping we were going to make that, but oh, that's alright. That's alright, but you know what you did make? It's this Andre the Giant that's in here. Yes, that is young Andre, yeah, yeah. At wrestling in Japan Andre, fringe vest Andre. Yeah, Andre, <coughs> excuse me, Andre's great. Um, we're just sort of bringing him back out to show people what we made. Obviously, that pre-order is closed, uh, but he's awesome. He is. He's very cool looking. And I know we talked a little bit, too, about, like, the uh, paint on the face, because when the first pictures went up, I think there were some questions about the likeness on him. Yeah, it's one of those things where between the paint and the, the sculpt looks dead on, yeah. the paint was a little bit off, and it makes him look a little less Andre-ish. And we've updated the face a little bit more since then, but he looks like Andre, really. And it'll—it's Andre. Awesome. It's Andre. Awesome. <laughs> very, very cool. Very cool. All right. So where do we want to move from here? Do we want to talk about the the Shogun stuff? Uh, we can. We can walk over there. Let's see. Here, as I'm like, oh God, I'm so tired. I need, oh, it's only day two. I'm <laughs> gonna nap. Die. Need a nap? Uh, you want to walk around to the other side? We can do that. Let's go ahead and head over to the other side and see what right. we got. This is the Super Shogun Optimus Prime. So if you're familiar with Jumbo Machinders or Shogun Warriors, when they brought them over as Shogun Warriors, this is a two foot tall, it will be blow molded polyethylene, Shogun Warrior Optimus Prime, Super Shogun. And then we've got the, in here, so you can take out the Matrix. He's a little stiff. You can take out the Matrix of Leadership, close the doors. The fist will fire off and take out the gun. It's got the wheels on the feet, just like the originals. It is just like the Shogun Warriors but Optimus Prime. That is awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. Exactly. And I made this for right. me. I made it for you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the 40 other dudes right now that are super psyched on it. Hey, that's awesome. Though. Yeah. That's awesome. It's cool that you get a chance to make this kind of stuff, though. I mean. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, no one else is this dumb. But, yeah, no, it's, but it's, it's that the thing. It's like these are the things that I always wanted to have. Like. Why can't I have an Optimus Prime that I can fight with Mazinga or Guy King? And so, yeah, it only took us 10 years to make another Shogun right. since the Stormtrooper. <laughs> that is so cool. That is see him. So what's the uh, order information on this guy? So he is 350 shipped within the continental U.S. Okay. If you're outside the continental U.S., almost like we did with Snake Mountain, there'll be partners. So you'll be able to go to like this partner in this country, this partner in this country, so that they can deal with the inner, the shipping within the country, and um, he'll be ready in about nine months. Oh, excellent! Yeah, excellent. he's uh, but he's my baby. He's your baby. He's your baby. Grown up. 
Yeah, he's he's really talking cool. talking about this literally for like seven years. I remember. I know this, so. the signs for this have been around for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Danny. <laughs> but no, it's so cool that it's here and it exists and yeah. it's, it's real and it's really happening. It's really happening. It's really happening. I finally, you know, finally got there. That's we'll awesome. bring it over the finish line eventually. I love it. Exactly. So. Well, you just, you just reminded me of something else. Where's my Snake Mountain? Your Snake Mountain is almost complete. Yay! It's almost complete. Obviously, we're waiting for the factories to come back online. They are all still closed for coronavirus. Okay. They should come back online theoretically. They'll tell me they're coming online next week, but I think that's going to be at like 10%, 20% at best. Okay. Okay. So uh, it was supposed to ship out in April so that people started getting them in May. I'm sure that that's going to push out at least a month. Okay. Okay. But we don't know yet. But in that, the crazy part is, is they're so big, and this is not an exaggeration. We were talking about this. I'm going to put this down real quick. Sure, Hold go on. ahead. Um, is that they're so big that as they assemble them, they will get one-third through, and the factory will be full, and they have to ship out all the ones from the factory, then fill the factory back up a second time, ship them out, and fill the factory back up. So for those of you that deal with logistics, it is 72 Snake Mountains per shipping container. So when you see the giant boat with the, the semi on the back, yeah. 72 fit in one shipping container. What? <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were sitting here yesterday talking with a couple of uh, the distributors, and they're all just like, do you know how many trucks that is? I'm like, I am, I am well aware how many trucks that is. So that's how big the thing is I still have no idea where I'm gonna put that thing I just I, I have no idea right right in the middle of your living room where it's gonna to have to go under a chandelier yeah. with spotlights yeah, there you go okay uh, we're making this happen Christina uh, uh, this is all head shakes nose right now so awesome. but yes uh, it looks great it's mo it, everything was right on schedule everything was moving along so aside from factory delays with coronavirus we're we're good to go Excellent. we're good to go Excellent. i mean we've been posting pictures along the way sure, too and be just like it's real it's here it's yeah. it's preposterously large <laughs> so i can't wait that's yeah. that's really exciting all right so let's finish things off by talking about reaction because you guys are still rolling through with reaction you've been doing some really fun properties with yes. it and you got a lot of new stuff here there's a ton of new stuff here um a pretty wide variety of which I'm sure you will pan over in just a moment. Yes, right now it'll be a lovely shot That's right, yes. of this panning through the cases. <laughs> oh, isn't it lovely? Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, there's there's some unexpected stuff in there. Obviously, Gem and the Holograms, I think people are just going to be like, where did that come from? So cool. And there's a whole bunch of diehard Thundercats dudes right now are like, what are they making Gem for? And their girlfriends right now are be like, that's right. There we go. You got a whole house full of Thundercats, and I'm going to get get my gem. Uh, you know, Gem and the Holograms is in there. You know, Army of Darkness. There's Wave 3 on Universal Monsters. There's a lot of new music stuff. There's Back to the Future 2, Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, I, I, you'll pan through. I can't even remember it all. Yeah, but but th th then there's my pet project, much like this. Yeah. My one reaction pet project for the year was Red Dawn. Red Dawn. Was yeah. Red Dawn. And I, once again, those same 40 people that are buying this jumbo from me, yeah. this, this Super Shogun, they're buying Red Dawn with me. <laughs> and I don't care if no one else buys Red Dawn. I made, I made Red Dawn. I've got Matt and Jed Eckert. I got Erica with an RPG. We're going to take down the Cubans and the Russians. <laughs> it's going to be great. That's so cool. That's amazing. Uh, you did also have uh, there was Thundercats reaction in oh, there. Oh yeah, I forgot about there that. There was there was <laughs> there was a new wave of uh, turtles, which yeah. has Space Cadet Raph, which is one of my favorite figures from the original line. So that was cool to see. Yep, there's the new wave of Transformers. New wave of Transformers. Uh, Andre the Giant. Oh yeah, Andre the, Andre the Giant, Giant reactions. Giant. That's right. Um, there's more. There's more. There's, there's more. SpongeBob. Sponge SpongeBob was over there. Yeah, I mean. There's a, you know, Beavis and Butthead are up there. Yeah, those are so cool looking. Not, you know, Michael Knight. We got Knight Rider hanging up in there. Um, there's a bunch of, and there's a lot of other cool stuff we've got going on. So I, I think there's a lot of stuff in there that's a pretty wide breadth for everyone. Sure. And especially then when you get into the sports side of things where it's like, there's a ton here between the mascots, the NBA, the U.S. Women's National Team, 
MLB Vintage, MLB Modern. There's a lot of sports in here. So anybody that was into starting lineups, I, I'm, I'm your man. Right. I got you. Yeah, there you go. I, I'm, I'm here for you. Um, I just same thing as always, just trying to have as much fun with it as we can. Sure, of course. I think you're doing a great job with that. I mean, the the amount of different licenses you have is really incredible to see every year. And just the like, you just always surprise us. You always surprise us with some cool stuff, and I think that's awesome. Cool. It makes toys fun, like you said. Hey, thanks, Danny. Oh, you're, you're very welcome. Uh, where do I send the check to again? Oh, okay. So you're gonna send it to Pixel Dan, not P Danny. Uh, <laughs> no, you pay for that. So, is, is it my, do my checks go directly to P Danny? So anyway, Toy Fair 2020, that's that's a wrap. No. <laughs> hey, Brian, thank you so much, man, for taking the time to always do this with us. We appreciate it. Oh, no, thank you. I appreciate it. And come again soon. We've got lots of exciting stuff for San Diego. Awesome. Oh, San Diego, that's right. It'll be here before we know it, too. It's true. It's true. <laughs> well, well before we all know it. Yeah. We're already well into it. I so. Know, right? yeah. Awesome. Well, there you guys go. A nice walkthrough of the Super 7 booth here at the 2020 New York Toy Fair. Coverage of Toy Fair 2020 with Pixel Dan is brought to you by Megalopolis, City of Collectibles. Visit them online by following the link in the video description below. And be sure to follow Pixel Dan here on YouTube for the latest from Toy Fair 2020.